Hi guys, thank you for joining me once again on my channel and today we're going to discuss something a little bit different so no interviews and no procedures just a little bit about fillers and a little filler education so people are always wondering how much filler do I need how much filler is in a box um, and there's so many different kinds of fillers so just a very quick and simple explanation on, on fillers and the amount of fillers and the types of fillers you need. So they're called dermal fillers. So that's a bit of a, you know, I, they try to get away from that name and trying to go um, and call them tissue fillers, which is a bit more accurate. Uh, fillers are placed not only in the dermis, which is the second layer of skin, they're placed on bone, they're placed in fat. So on bone, you need a robust, sort of thick filler to create sculpting or you need <clears throat> more robust sort of elastic filler under strong muscles like under the chin to create a long lasting sculpted chin so it depends on the type of filler you can't put that sort of filler in the lip because then it would get lumpy and hard and the important uh, the, the important thing is also the amount of filler play so People are a bit scared because of what we see on social media or, or even on TV. Uh, am I going to look unnatural with filler? Is one box or one syringe way too much for me? And this is just to illustrate to you how much filler um, in, in real life is actually being put into your, into your skin. So along here, this is generally how filler comes. So these are a whole lot of different brands and all of these brands uh, <clears throat> it's one mil. So one mil of filler is one fifth of a teaspoon. And just to show you different syringes, so this is a one mil syringe, one mil syringe, one mil syringe, and another one mil syringe, and so is this. So this is what they usually inject botulinum toxin in, and then this is a 25 mil um, syringe and that's what one mil looks like so it's really really interesting to to see how one mil looks and then this here that's 10 mils of liquid and that would be maybe a full face treatment cheeks chin a bit of jawline uh, perhaps your lips so this would be the amount that would be going into the face and then this is five mil. So I often get DMs um, if we do a jawline, and people ask, um, "How can I get that jawline? How much filler is in that jawline?" So most people think it's this much, which is one syringe, but it would be five maybe of these syringes to get a sculpted jawline and chin, because we don't just concentrate on this area. There's other areas of the face that filler is strategically placed uh, to create a certain to create a certain look. So just to show you as well, there's something called filler rheology. So this here is pretty liquidy and you do get fillers that are kind of liquidy like this. They are called skin boosters. So they're very light fillers, almost more like injectable moisturizer. So this is one such skin booster. And just to show you, I'm gonna take the spoon and it's pretty, sticky and very nice and liquidy actually and it builds a little mountain it's cohesive <clears throat> and then this here is an uncross-linked so here we go this is an uncross-linked hyaluronic acid so it's also a type of skin booster I think it's even more liquidy so there's nothing keeping that together where this is more cross-linked and then this is um, filler that is usually placed deep on bone so it's more robust and it's even more difficult to inject through this needle and you can see it's almost building like a mountain so it's keeping it's keeping a shape up so this is for sculpting cheeks sculpting um, chins noses even and you can see the difference between the two and that's what one mil of filler looks like so one fifth of a teaspoon and people often are like oh, that's you know they're scared of using one mil of filler so they don't create an unnatural result but if you look at this this is already eight mils and this is 15 mils so if we had to open this so ooh, 
Okay, so this will probably almost fill the spoon. And this amount of filler sauce, that would give you an elegant full face um, rejuvenation. So <clears throat> people underestimate you know the amount of filler they need but you can also do so much with just one bowl of filler sorry i couldn't help myself <laughs> so that's amazing so that would be two mils of filler and that would be eight mils of filler so just to show you that um what you're getting is this and not to be scared of um, having the correct dose of filler done or if uh, your aesthetic practitioner advises you to get a certain result you might need um, four boxes or three boxes so just so you're aware that what the amount is and it's not as much as you think thanks for joining me in our practice kitchen today um, and I hope you enjoyed it and hope it was uh, educational if you have any questions about the video or about fillers please drop them in the comments below like share and subscribe thanks for joining guys